in there, we got some foam or something so that we had a little bit of insulation yeah. because, you know, that's, what those weight pockets are uh, just... Was insulation a factor at all with this house? The only thing we ended up doing, it was funny because one of the first years we worked there, I tried to talk her into shutting the heating system down because it, I mean, there were rooms you could just look up, see up into the attic. I mean, it was pretty bad. She she refused to do it. She was afraid it would damage the plaster even more. Well, she got her first couple heating bills. <laughs> she, gave me, yeah, she gave me a call and said, we need to do something. <laughs> Uh, so we, the only thing we did was insulated the attic floor, pour all the attic, and really that was only in the, like, you know, maybe we did do over top of the ballroom also. And we did, we pulled up some attic flooring, you know, blew in insulation and put it back down and it, and it cut it back by two thirds maybe, and, it, and that's all we ever did. We had talked at one point about putting some type of storm window over the windows and I guess it just wasn't that bad, so she just let them go. Now so there again, just had a single pane. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you, you have all those interior shutters, and I think that has. I think there's some a little bit of uh, you know all those wood shutters inside. She keeps those shut most of the time, so I'm, I'm sure that uh, you know adds a little bit. Yeah. You know, maybe not a lot, but. What are you thinking about insulation these days, Gene? Uh, I mean, they've got the. There's zero, you know, zero uh, air air passage in these houses. They're, they're building thermal unit uh, containment, and, uh, AZAC, and uh, all of the all of the uh, PVC products that they're coming out that way. You always have had an interesting philosophy. I wonder <laughs> if it, if it's changed. Well, I'm still not happening. a plastic guy. <laughs> I, I do think there's probably some uses for it. You know, there's, you know, you, you get in a situation where you get something that's almost inaccessible and, uh, you know, gets very expensive with scaffolding up every time you have to paint. And everybody knows that paint only lasts five, six years. Uh, you get in a situation that's so far up there, I think probably AZAC has some, you know, they put it with a up with AZAC, it seems to hold the paint well. You know, you might never have to go back up there and do anything to it, or at least for a, a lot longer period than if it, if it was wood. So, um, yeah, and as far as insulation on old, you know, where it was plastered on, where it was plastered on uh, steel <coughs> brick, um, the only thing that we've ever done over the years, and, uh, if the plaster is really bad, uh, like on outside walls from water leakage and whatever, we've used kind of a reverse drive it system where we've taken the rest of the plaster off the wall. We left because the early houses they put the trim on and then plastered to the trim. And uh, sometimes you get in a situation where the plaster on the outside wall because of water leakage from the outside, the plaster is not worth much in the inside. We've taken the plaster off of the inside walls, uh, on the inside of the outside walls, and uh, the rough stone would get a uh, like a parging, and then we've glued on, um, like uh, not glue board, but the styrofoam board, and then basically like a inside drive it system and plastered back to the trim. And that gives, I don't think it gives a lot of uh, R value, but it cuts down the air infiltration and makes a huge difference. Um, so, Has that held up over the years? It's held up very well. I mean, when it's properly done, you can't tell whether it was plaster or not plaster. Um, you know, you get in an old stone house or a brick house, and as soon as you start if you have to fur out or something, all of a sudden you're, and, and then add another couple layers on it, all of a sudden you're coming out beyond the trim. And uh, so if you can work right on the stone or right on the brick and glue this insulation on. Um, the other thing with the, uh, the white styrene board and whatever, you can take a sure form rasp and you can rasp it off if it sticks out a little too much. You can you can fiddle with it, um, and we've had we've had very good luck with that. So, 
That's all I have. Okay, do you want to open it up for any questions? Yeah. <clears throat> no. Nothing to add, Dan. It's quite a project. Yeah, it's quite a you project. You really did well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun going. She was a great, great lady to work with. She had a, a great sense of style and she knew when to spend money on the right things and when to, you know, maybe cut back on something that was, you know, still historic, historically accurate, but maybe not, didn't warrant spending a lot of money on. So it was a real, a real good mix. Was this, was this the job? Did they put the furnace in right before you came, or did you put the furnace? We put the furnace in a couple of years after we started, but it was the job that. Uh, I think it was before we even met her, she had a, a before restoration party to show everyone what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And the day that she came up, she was living in Philadelphia, the day that she came up, she realized someone broke in and ripped all the copper pipes out of the basement. <laughs> so she showed up for this big party that was being catered and she had no bathrooms, no running water and water and everything. So she so had to they quick get someone in. Now house back in. <laughs> <laughs> So when, she, you, when you'd go in the basement, the furnace was fairly far up front, I can very yeah, it's all the way And there, because of the radiators, they used three-quarter inch pipes, didn't they? Yeah, it's and it must have been 60 feet to the back. <laughs> and there was probably 10 pipes wide that ran 60 feet, yeah. all yeah. copper. Yeah, a lot. And somebody went in there and just clipped the ends, dropped them, and must have sawed them up and loaded them on a truck. There was a lot of copper in there, a lot of copper. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was her first experience with the house, you know. With all the yeah. Was she using this, restoring this to move back in as a primary residence? Uh, she used it between there and, and her other residence, yeah. She did both of them. It sounds like you guys were very lucky to have so much original we were. stuff we were. in such great shape. Yeah, yeah, we were. A lot of it was just putting it back together. You know, it was all, like I said, I mean, I just couldn't believe walking through there, you know, there was no railing. We'd go in the back room and they're all stacked in the back room. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better. Than Why that. did they take the railings off the second floor porches? They were just open? Yeah, yeah, you walk down on that balcony there. Now, not this one. These were all still, uh, still installed. But that second floor balcony, it was just an open balcony. There was nothing up there. So why they did what they did, I don't, I don't know. Um, but like I said, the one dormer in the back must have leaked for so long. It, it rotted through the attic floor, through the second floor, and it was up halfway through rotting through the kitchen floor. So I mean, it must have just leaked for years. Uh, but like I said, it almost. Not that I'd want to see a house like that, but I'd almost rather have that than have three guys remodeling it over a period of 40 years and, and they were thrown away and everything. So we kind of made it better of the two. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you? I think we were there about four years. We Now that wasn't full time. We, we'd do two or three rooms at a time. So maybe two to three months out of the year. So, you know, maybe total was a little over a year. I never sat down and figured it all out. But, um, I didn't show pictures of it. There's there's a two pretty neat doors. One coming off the back of the parlor. And I, I don't know if they. I don't know if that shows up in the one. Uh, what did you call that, Gene? A coffin door? Yeah, I called it a coffin door. I maybe it's somebody so else has. A so window. Is yeah, it's a window that opens on the bottom. Yeah. And, you see them and they're either uh, double hung or triple hung. I've seen them triple hung. Mm -hmm. And they would just keep going up. Yeah, this, this right window, window right there to the left. Yeah. And I think and that was it, was that a triple window or just, it was a double window, just real tall. Yeah. And where, where it got.